our um, meditation for today is coming out of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. For everything there is a season. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. Time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. And look at this tree today. Beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity into the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end. What's your season? What season are you in? If you're like me, you're in a season of ageing and looking back and remembering and reflecting on what you used to do. We're in the twilight years. As we change from spring to summer to autumn, we see the leaves that fall to the ground. What season are you in? But can you fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end? Who could put on a display like this? None but our God, the creator of all. What a beautiful God we serve. Hallelujah. So there's a little meditation for today. Love him, adore him, worship him, for he has made you. And he's given you seasons in your life. And if you're in the season like I am, where the leaves are turning to autumn leaves and are beginning to fall, the wheels start to wobble and sometimes they fall off, then it's a time to be closer to God. Get into the word, put the word into you, and seek him on a daily, if, if possible, even more than that, on an hourly basis. Seek your creator, for he loves you, and he cherishes you, he has prepared a place for you. And uh, into eternity, he has set eternity into the hearts of men. There is an eternity and we're part of it. This time on this earth is only very, very temporary. So there you are, God bless you. Get into the word, stay in the word. May the word stay in you. See you later.